This Black History Month, an indie jazz legend's life and legacy will be the focus of a new film and documentary. Yeah, Westbound, the genius of Wes Montgomery, tells the story of the Hoosier often regarded as the best jazz guitarist of all time. WRTV's Nico Panisi shows us the story behind the legend. Jazz music is alive and well in Indianapolis. Just ask the man on the sax, Rob Dixon. It's, you know, one of the true American art forms. The Indie Jazz Fest artistic director and music scene mainstay says the art form has deep roots in our local black history and culture. Particularly on Indiana Avenue, where some of the greatest um, iconic musicians in the history of jazz came out of. Among the greats, guitar virtuoso and indie native Wes Montgomery. This is my favorite Wes Montgomery. And why is that your favorite? It's a day in a life. First, he had a gold album, this is a day in a life. Yeah. And at the end, you, you hear Wes still playing, even though all this music is going around him, Wes is still playing. Montgomery is often regarded as the greatest jazz guitarist of all time. He won a Grammy for that. To Robert Montgomery Sr., he was just dad. He was as beautiful as his music. He was kind and thoughtful, mild and funny and meek. It wasn't until well after his death in 1968 that Robert became a true fan of his father, the musician. I remember listening to him and, and looking up at that picture and I said, oh man, dad, you're really good. So I asked my mother, I said, you know, man, Mommy was really good, wasn't he? She said, you blockhead, of course he was. <laughs> this year marks 100 years since his birth and 55 years since his passing at the young age of 45. He was in his ascendancy in every way, in terms of the recon recognition he was getting, in terms of album sales, in terms of actually a more comfortable life. All of that was happening at the same time, and it all just ended like that. It was just terribly tragic. An anniversary that Kevin Finch wants Indiana and the world to celebrate. Nobody had ever done a film documentary on West Montgomery. You've got to be kidding. And so that was like, it almost became a crusade that, all right, well then, you know, somebody's got to do this. The Jukeboxer Productions founder wrote and directed the first film documentary on the legendary Hoosier called Westbound, the genius of West Montgomery. The documentary pulls from hours of interviews with the Montgomery family, historians and experts on the scene. Westbound premieres February 26th. He let the music do the talking. There was this thing, this amazing ear of his and this memory uh, that he had to translate from here to here. <laughs> Working for you, Nico Panisi, WRTV. Great to see. And as Nico said, Westbound premieres Sunday, February 26th at 8 p.m. on WTIU. It will have a very important replay on Monday, March 6th, which would have been Montgomery's 100th birthday.